If your goal is to get into better shape and to have more muscle tone, then it's really important to balance the workout that combines strength and flexibility exercises. Now I've created a workout using your own body weight on your total gym that develops your strength along with lengthening your muscles. So let's go ahead and learn how to perform this workout. Have your incline placed at a low to medium level, stand at the bottom base and face your tower. The first exercise are inchworm plank pulls. Activate through your core, tuck your chin and articulate all the way down so that your hands come to the glide board. Come into a plank position, open up the glide board and then pull it back in and then roll your body back up to a standing position again to repeat. Tucking through your chin, articulating down, plank position, pull the arms, bring them back in and then roll back up. So this is a great warm up move for your core as well as through your shoulders. Now on the last move, you'll stay out there and come down to your forearms for hip arcs. You'll arc the hips from side to side, letting the hips touch down towards the glide board. This will stabilize in through our spine, our shoulders, and really work through your waistline. Once you're done with those, close the glide board and extend the arm and the opposite leg for elbow to knee. Bring the knee in, tap the elbow, and then lengthen back out. So you're reaching the arm and the leg in opposition to get the fullest length and activation through the glutes as well as through the shoulders. Once you're done with that, place the hand down, swivel to the side and keep the leg lifted. You'll reach the arm out, lift the leg up and bring the elbow towards the knee for outer thigh lifts. This is such a great movement because we're working our arms, our legs, as well as through our waist. Now that leg is lifted, you'll plant it down into the floor and turn into a lunge position for reverse lunge, twist, and then stand. So everything here is staying active and we're moving and flowing in through each exercise. Once you're done with this one, you'll close the glide board and come down into a plank position with your hands at the bottom base. Open up the glide board, you'll tuck your knees in for a knee tuck followed by one push up. Now, if this is too intense for your upper body, you can do the knee tucks, lower the knees down, followed by a modified push-up. Extend back in, knees tuck, the knees can come down, and push up. Once you're done with that, you'll change legs. So place the other leg forward, so now you're in your reverse lunge and twist. Rotate to the side, and then stand back up. So you wanna keep your focus, and keep your body flowing through the exercises. After this, come into that side kneeling position, reaching the arm and the leg in opposition. You'll lift the leg and reach the arm. So activate through the back, the waist, as well as your outer thigh. Then you'll plant that hand down, keep the leg lifted for opposite elbow to knee. Really stay strong through the body so that you're lengthening through the arm as well as through the legs and the glutes. And then place your hand down onto the glide board, round your spine into cat stretch, arch it into a cow, and you can stretch your body back up into your standing position, roll it all the way back up, and you're ready to start the circuit again. So you can do this whole routine as many times as you'd like, once through to get a really effective workout as well. And this is such a great way to combine strength along with flexibility to get the most out of your workouts and to achieve your goals.